In this experiment, we're going to be finding coefficient of discharge using a rectangular notch. Basically, we're going to be using the hydraulic bench to find the coefficient of discharge for a rectangular notch, which is to be fitted on a mirror carrier. First of all, we'll fill the water head up to the apex of the steady flow conditions and find the head available. Then we'll find the head when there are steady flow conditions beyond the apex. For that, we'll find this charge or the coefficient of discharge. The that we're going to be using our hydraulic bench for us. For the entire operation, the rectangular notch whose coefficient of discharge we're going to be finding, the hook and point gauge through which we're going to be finding the head, and a stopwatch for finding the discharge. Now let's start the experiment. First of all, you attach a rectangular notch onto the weir carrier of the hydraulic bench. Do it slowly and gradually. Fit in the pins and tighten all the available screws. Once you've done that, then you put on the hook and point cage on top. Then you turn on the hydraulic bench. Let the flow open and take it a really slow flow condition. If you take on a high amount of volume discharge, it could overflow the entire apex or, so to say, the wear carrier. Slowly, slowly increase the discharge. As it overflows the apex. And you close hydraulic bench so that we can measure the head up to the apex. Then we re record the head up to the apex. Let it completely go down to the apex. Slowly move it down. And that's it. We know that for discharge, the equation for a rectangular notch is the one, and for original volume discharge, it is two. So we can find the question of discharge using combining equations one and two. Problem precision bias means that if one point would mislead the final result, how are we going to point that out? For that, we carry out the following steps. Equation 1. And from that, we get equation B, which is actually the equation of a line. Hence, if we plot it, log of H against log of Q, and got a series of lines, we found the equation for all these lines separately and found the y step C for each of the lines. Each of these lines. As you can see, the original equation is supposed to be close to that of the line of 1.5 slope. But each of these lines is, is deviating from the original line. So we're supposed to take the line that is really close to it. In this case, we've got y is equal to 1.661x plus 0 0.2636. This one goes really close to the first one, so that's why we take the y intercept of this line as the real answer.
a result of 0.65495, which is supposed to be the actual result. Yet, practically, it is. The members of our group are narration by me, that is Amr Shafiq, video making by Salman, Mr. Baghdad, Halimullah, Hamza Adam, Arsalan Shweb, and Mustajab Khan. A video compilation was done by Mudassar Baghdad, Osama Khan, and Azimullah Shah. The presentation was made by Hassan Ali, Muhammad Muhammad bin Hussain Sayyid Khardak, Abdul Jabbar, Nabil Wali, Numan Yagat, and Muhammad Zarif Khan. The entire career of an interview made with engineer Muhammad Salman. To the lab staff of Hulu Mechanic 